Hey everyone, Mark Saltzman here at Grace Hopper Celebration in beautiful Houston, Texas. It's it's a convention, an annual event that celebrates women in technology. And I was just in the audience and I witnessed these four amazing women from Capital One who demonstrated a new capability, a new feature built into their Alexa skill for Amazon powered devices like the Amazon Echo that you see there. It also works with tap, uh, uh, What's the other ones I'm missing here? Dot, Fire Dot TV. and Fire TV. Thank you very much. So Steph Hay, take it away. You're, she's going to give us a live demo of uh, what they just showed on stage with your new capabilities that were That's unveiled right. here at uh, Grace Hopper, That's which is right. pretty exciting. So please take it away and give us a live demo. Live I will. Demo. Thank you. So we're really excited to have announced today, how much did I spend? Which is the newest conversation you can have with the Capital One skill on Amazon Alexa. And what this means is that you are now able to ask how much you've spent at more than 2,000 popular merchants on specific days or uh, date range across time. And it solves a particular problem of really having a lot of effort going into trying to add up those sorts of things um, and takes it into a voice enabled form where you can just ask a direct question and get a direct answer. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like now. Alexa, open Capital One back again great how can I help how much did I spend at Amazon in October between October 1st and October 19th you spent a total of four hundred twenty eight dollars and eighty six cents at Amazon on your corporate card right. how That's else right. can I help you <laughs> not enough maybe I guess and how much did I spend at Starbucks last month between September 1st and September 30th you spent a total of $26.41 at Starbucks coffee on your corporate card. How else can I help you? All set. Goodbye. Awesome, so you demonstrated how you can ask for how much you spent at a given place, so yep. like Amazon or Starbucks. Yep. What are some of the other uh, vendors that this would work with? Like Uber, for example? Could you say? What sure I can. Yeah. 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 yeah, over 2,000 major yeah. retailers. Um, so everyone from Whole Foods to Kohl's. Um, mm -hmm. There's a big list, and that list is growing. And is it easy for these retailers or company services to be added? Is that like an API? It's not an API. Okay. We're starting with a list of companies that people shop the most okay, yeah, and adding sense. every single day from there on out. So we started with the big ones, the Home Depots of the world, so that we would people be able shop to shop at Amazon. Really? <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while. That's as big as it gets. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. And again, it's all meant to be more convenient and save you time. Uh, right. And if you do live with housemates and you do want to make sure that there's a personal key that is supported by your your, that's right. uh, your that's uh, right. skill. I d did not enable a personal key for this particular demo, right. but that is the reason why we yeah. added it. Yep. And as you mentioned on stage, it just saves you time. You don't have to, I mean, you, you gave an example of how, what you have to do in order to see how much you spend on a given day or within a certain period of time. So it's not just by month, but it also works by, by date, like a specific yeah. date if you want. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Or even a date range. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And so, uh, and a big part of this too, like Maeve and Megan were even talking about finding that natural language to be able to understand what it is that you're asking for. And natural language when you're talking about money in real life is like, how much did I spend last weekend? You know, and this is just the first step right. in our uh, journey to be able to enable those sorts of natural conversations about money. And just as we wrap up here, uh, for those who don't know that they can talk to their Alexa powered device mm -hmm. about their Capital One accounts. It's, it's your banking, it's uh, credit cards, debit cards, it's That's your right. loans, your mortgage. You got the it. The whole gamut, right? You got auto it. Auto, yeah, your auto loans. Yep. And you could even ask what's in my wallet, right? You might get a cheeky response. <laughs> you could. Okay. You want to try? Yeah, look, why don't, I'll, I'll let you do the reins. I'll take the reins here. <laughs> Alexa, open Capital One. I'm feeling very popular since you're talking to me again today. How can I help? What's in my wallet? Say something. I'm an internet enabled device, so it's just pictures of cats. How else can I help you? Lots of cats. That's great. Goodbye, Alexa. Well, I love how you guys infuse personality uh, into a already human sounding like voice. So just to adding to the customer experience, which is great, right? Yeah. And so I love it. Thank you so much, Thank guys. You. Congratulations Thank you. on, on so it, was a, it was a packed house here. So congratulations, Grace Hopper. Celebration. We are celebrating women in technology with Capital One 2016 here in Houston, Texas. Thanks for watching. Thank you.